So, official Arrow OS based on Android Pie is finally here for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And today I'm gonna give you my first impressions about this ROM. Yo, what's up guys, this is Tito back with another video, so let's just begin. The ROM is smooth enough and as you can see, I have changed the colors of the quick toggles to look red. And yeah, in this ROM you can change accent colors, which I'll be showing you in the later part of this video, so make sure to watch till the end. Now let me show you the about section first. As you can see based on Android 9.0 Pi and we have the Pi easter egg over here as you can see. Latest September 5th 2018 security patch and because of that it's actually based on Google's pre-release 2 for Android Pi. This is the 14th September 2018 build of the Arrow OS by the way. And of course we have the Arrow OS logo up top which can change its colors with the accent color you have said it already. And now let me go back. Let's go inside gestures. We do have up home gesture over here which does work super fine. And as you can see the animations are smooth enough, no lags at all. And in terms of the launcher, I have installed modified pixel 2 launcher here because I did not like the stock launchers present on this ROM frankly. You can switch between apps pretty fast just by swiping on the home button. This is a feature of Android Pie. And in terms of the stock camera on this ROM, we do get the Mi A2's camera over here and portrait mode and stuff is working super fine here, you don't have to worry. But if you wanna use GC cam then we do have camera to API enabling option in settings which is a good thing like Resurrection Remix ROM. Now let me open up a few apps and show you the app open up speeds and the RAM management of this ROM as well. And talking about the battery life, well this is definitely close to Pixel Experience Pi and it will definitely last you for a full working day for sure. As you can see, all the apps are in memory but I think for the Pi app open up animations, you have to use the Pixel 3 launcher but over here I am using the Pixel 2 launcher so that's why I think you are not seeing any animations while opening apps. So yeah, that's that. And again, we have the recent apps panel of Android Pi over here. Google Assistant does work fine as you can see. But sadly, banking apps like Google Pay simply does not work without magic as of now. So in the next updates, it might work. Let's just hope for the best. And now let me talk about the accent color stuff or the customizations. As you can see, all the quick toggles which are turned on looks red and even the brightness adjuster looks red. So all of the customizations of this ROM are present inside display settings mostly. Nightlight works super fine here as you can see. Let's just turn it off and go back. We have double tap to wake if you want and double tap to sleep on status bar is there and works super fine. But frankly, I miss only two features on the ROM. Number one being the brightness adjustment by swiping on the status bar and number two is the power button long press to toggle torch. Next we have clock and date customizations. Inside buttons and nav bar we get the advanced reboot option. And as you can see from here you can directly boot into TWRP or your recovery or fast boot. We have some playback and volume control over here. In status bar items, we do have headset icon over here, but note that there is no Vaulty icon present in this ROM as of now, even though the Vaulty is working super fine here. Inside AOSP recents, we have the clear all button option, which does not simply show up in Android Pie. You can customize the quick settings column and row numbers from here, and quick pull down is there and does work fine as you can see. We have lock screen shortcuts, double tap to sleep on the lock screen, etc. And up next, we have the system UI theme changer where you can get the light, dark and black color option over here and over here choosing dark does change the settings panel color too with the quick toggles. As you can see, unlike Pixel Experience Pi where the dark means simply it will change only the quick toggles area, not the whole settings panel color. So yeah, it's working fine now on Android Pi. So let's change it to light back again. 
and here we have the accent color option where you get bunch of color options let me just change it to default and as you can see the accent colors now turned blue now let me just set up the face unlock and see if the auto face unlock works or not and here as you can see we do have option to enable auto face unlock let's just enable it and try it out and yeah gotta say it's pretty fast and it shows this logo on the bottom looks pretty cool everything runs fine enough and most of the things are working fine and if you want to try it out you can definitely do it on your redmi note 5 pro if you are okay with the things i mentioned wi-fi fingerprint scanner camera quality etc stuff are working super fine so that wraps up this video guys thank you so much for watching give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll catch you guys later